Many factors affect our skin's health, and majority of the time, we always talk about extrinsic factors. It means factors from outside our body, uh, things like UV rays, sun, you know, um, the amount of dust you're exposed to, and all this, of course, affects your skin's health. But very rarely do we talk about intrinsic factors, what internally affects our skin's health. Of course, now we know that genetics play a major role, deal with stress plays a major role. Now, however, in this particular video, we'll be talking about how estrogen affects your skin. But more importantly, in this video, we'll be talking about four ways estrogen affects your skin's health. And if you think that estrogen doesn't affect you because you're a guy, you know, think twice. However, before we continue with this video, help smash the subscribe button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm tremendously. Great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. Welcome to Skin Fix, Asia's premium platform whereby you get your skincare advice. Now, in this topic, we'll be talking about the four ways estrogen affects your skin's health. But first of all, what is estrogen? Now, we're gonna give you a very brief version of estrogen. A lot of us know estrogen as a female reproductive hormone. Now, estrogen is important because it fluctuates throughout a woman's hormonal cycle. And during the peak of the estrogen um, cycle, whereby usually it's day 14 of your period, that's when most women feel that their skin is actually the nicest. Now, there are many reasons for that which we will explain further. And by the end of this video, you'll realize how important estrogen is for your skin. Therefore, the lack of estrogen actually has a lot of negative results. Now, if you're a guy, you think, you know what, I'm a male, I do not need estrogen. Wrong, males also require estrogen. So where are estrogen produced? In women, estrogen are primarily produced in your ovaries. However, a little bit are produced in your adrenal glands as well. Now, how about males? You don't have any ovaries. Estrogen is actually produced by your testes and as well as adrenal glands. And in males, especially those who are overweight, we are seeing an increase in estrogen in these kind of males because the fat tissue or the adipose tissue around your belly actually converts your testosterone to estrogen. And a lot of times, estrogen is also due to external sources, especially from the plants that we eat. Now, enough of where estrogen comes from. In this video, we'll be discussing four ways estrogen affects your skin's health. Number four, estrogen makes your skin more elastic and more hydrated. Estrogen is one of the key components to producing more hyaluronic acid intrinsically in your skin. The more estrogen your body produces, the higher levels of HA in your skin, hence leading to a more hydrated skin. Estrogen is also responsible for increasing the amount of collagen in your skin. Hence, it's why we see in a lot of females who have undergone menopause, what happens is there is a total reduction of estrogen. Now, there's still a little bit of estrogen post-menopause, but not as much as pre-menopause. And what happens is a lot of these females that suffer from dry skin and reduced collagen in their skin. Hence, estrogen is really important if you want to look young and your skin want to feel more hydrated. Number three, it improves wound healing. Now, one of the most important consequences of aging is delayed wound healing. Hence, that's why the older we become, the slower our wound heals. Now, they've discovered that estrogen plays a critical role in wound healing. And as we get older, the amount of estrogen actually reduces, hence there's lesser or there is longer duration of time needed for your wounds to heal. And as your estrogen level becomes lower, the amount of inflammation in your body actually increases and becomes higher. Hence, there's this inverse relationship between estrogen and inflammation. Means more estrogen, less inflammation, less estrogen, more inflammation. And all of this can lead to wound healing delays. Now, if you pair that together with the lesser HA or the lesser collagen that your skin produces, now this is a recipe for disaster. Number two, estrogen improves inflammatory disorders. As shared earlier, the lesser estrogen you have, the higher the inflammation. And so what happens is the more estrogen you have, the lesser the inflammation. Now this is really important because in a lot of cases where someone has chronic inflammatory skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema, a high level of estrogen actually reduces these particular chronic skin issue flare-ups. Now there's a research which shows that in pregnant women, there is higher levels of estrogen. And what happens when you have high levels of estrogen, there's actually a reduction in psoriasis in this particular uh, small group of pregnant females. 
And what they also notice afterwards is right after they have delivered the baby, when the baby is born, when the estrogen levels start to drop, that's when their psoriasis flare-up start to come back. And then potentially later in life, once they have hit the menopausal age, once the estrogen level is really low, that's when they will probably get their worst psoriasis episodes. Hence, it's really important for estrogen to be in your body because it helps reduce inflammation. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, can you guys name me some estrogen pills or oral contraceptive pills So, by your nearest drugstore? Put it in the comments below. And the number one main effect of estrogen on your skin is it helps delay aging. Now, pair together with what we already know about the effects of estrogen on your skin. It produces more HA, more collagen, reduces inflammation. All of this, when added together, helps reduce skin aging. Hence, if you're a female, if you're listening to this, it's really important for you to keep your estrogen level high. Now, one of the ways to keeping your estrogen level high is to start yourself on oral contraceptive pills. And in that sense, you can keep your estrogen level high and then your skin will be nice and glowy. Now, what if you're hitting the menopausal age? That's when you should start on hormone replacement therapy. Go visit your nearest doctor and see whether you are suitable for hormone, hormone replacement therapy or not. And if you are, I highly suggest for you to start on it. Estrogen actually has a lot of positive benefits, not only on your skin, but on your skeletal structure as well, and on your cardiovascular. Now, what if you're a guy? If you're a guy, keep your testosterone and estrogen balance in check. Because no doubt, estrogen helps you, but too much estrogen might cause other health issues. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments whether you like, you agree, or you dislike this particular video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell button because we release new video on a weekly basis. That's it for me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and also remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.